Good evening. We begin tonight with a bizarre Christmas gift mix-up. It wasn't exactly a lump of coal, but a set of Southern Illinois parents may have preferred that to what they inadvertently gave their 12-year-old daughter. News 3's Jeff Sundlin spoke with the family tonight, and Jeff, this young girl opened her gift and got an eyeful of porn. She sure did, Dana. They bought what they thought were supposed to be Kiro's uh, pads by Kobe. They are similar to the Apple iPad and Amazon Kindle, but within a couple of minutes, they realized one of the devices had more than just games and email apps. Jay Harden and his wife bought Kobe Kiros pads for their two daughters and placed them under the tree. They were essentially the Christmas presents their 12 and 15 year olds wanted. She touched it once to switch screens and all of a sudden something that shouldn't have been there come up. What she saw were two applications already installed on the touch pads. One called Boobs, Butts and Babes, the other called Undress Me. His daughter now refers to the Kiros as the Perv Pad. Actually, kind of thought she was kidding me. So I walked in there and I looked at the screen of this thing, and sure enough, there were some things on there that shouldn't have been on there for any kid. Hardin says he quickly took the new touchpad computers from both his daughters and put them back in their boxes. He says his daughters did not even have them long enough to connect to the internet. On Monday, he called the manufacturer, but did not get the response he was hoping for from a customer service manager. Apparently, they have adult content in their application library as part of each and every one of these things that they sell. That's what we were told. Kobe executives had a different answer for News 3. Senior product manager Michael Palladino says there is nothing pre-programmed from Kobe. Like any other internet device with an open platform, a wide range of content is available, which may require parental oversight. Harden is certain the original package seals were still intact when he bought the Kiros pads. He says the software never should have been on the tablet in the first place. I don't expect, however, when HP or Macintosh or somebody else sells me a laptop computer that I'm going to open it up, turn it on, and find a bunch of adult icons on it. Yeah, I mean, why would he? So, so how did this happen? Well, the company simply doesn't know how this happened at all. Only one thought right now is that uh, someone actually bought this for the, before the Hardens and then downloaded a few of these applications and then returned it to the store. Now, I called the store where they bought that from tonight, and the manager there says that she hasn't had any other problems with any other buyers or any other customers with this device. And there were two daughters. The other ones was fine, right? It was. Yeah, that's correct. In fact, we searched that one to see if we could get some of the same apps. We couldn't. All right. Well, I'm, I take it that the perv pad, as it is now called in that household, is going back to the store? That's correct. As huh. soon as possible. All right, Jeff. Thanks.